Okay, we're going to compute the arc length on a hyperbola, and I defined it in kind of a strange way. I said that this is the curve f of y equals 1 over y. Um, so in other words, we're looking at the curve x equals 1 over y. And this changes the arc length formula a little bit so that an arc length contribution would be given by A derivative with respect to y of this function squared plus 1 dy and when I add all these up to get the total arc length from this interval 1 to 4 I have to differentiate this function with respect to y which just gives me negative 1 over y squared square that add one to it, tack on a dy, and I end up with integral, oops, that's not a negative one, that's a one. And I end up with the square root of one over y to the fourth plus one dy. Now these arc length integrals, they almost always end up having no analytical solution because the square root of 1 plus the derivative of the function you're looking at is sort of automatically hideous. And you can have a few examples in textbooks that you can do symbolically, but typically it has to be done numerically. <clears throat> so I wanted to illustrate how to do that. So I'm in maxima, and I typed in the integrate function, and I put this thing in, the square root of 1 plus, plus 1 over y to the fourth, as y goes from 1 to 4, and I just wanted to show what happens. I hit shift enter and it just gives me another copy of the same integral. Shame on them for not writing the differential in there, but we know what they mean. And so um, we have to use a numerical approximation instead of their symbolic integration tool. So I'm going to copy all this into a new line and paste it in. And the name of their numerical integration tool is quad QAG. Excuse me for having a very clunky keyboard today. Quad. QAG. You type in the integrand, the integration variable, the limits of integration, and the last thing you have to put in is what algorithm to use, and it's just a number one through six for six different integration algorithms. And it doesn't matter for us which one we use, we're just trying to get a crude approximation anyway. So I hit Shift Enter, and this first number is the numerical approximation. <clears throat> so I'm just going to keep a few sig figs on this. 3.15 you should check for reasonableness in your graph so uh, the like the length from here to here is 3 I can, I can just see it as 3 grid spaces on my graph so it looks very plausible that this is just a tiny bit longer than 3 it makes a lot of sense <clears throat> 